Hi, everyone. Welcome to this week's Short Attention Span webinar. Kelly, how are you? Hey, I'm great. Well, good. So let's talk about another question for rating yourself in 2015. Last week we talked about new business. Today we're going to talk about existing business. Kelly, if I ask you the question, how secure is your current business? How do you answer that? Yeah, it's a great. I mean, it's a great question, and I think I think we're the trap that a lot of us fall into in complacency and comfort is, oh, they love me over there. Nothing's ever going to change. Mm. And really, what we need to be asking ourselves, and this is one of the first things I tell somebody when they tell me that they are very heavily invested in one account, is how often are you conducting account reviews with them so that you're you're opening up a dialogue of reflection about performance and metrics and things like that. So, what do they think of us? How you know what kind of opportunity are we giving for them to share information with us? Um, I think is is very very important. And ask sure. yourself these fundamental questions that our competitors are probably asking when they call to try to take that business away from us. When's the last time you brought them a new idea? You know, how, when's the last time you expressed your gratitude to them? When's the last time you went and visited? You know, things like that. I mean, yep. we have to be constantly being new. Um, and not just complacent and sitting back on our laurels. Another question to ask is, what assumptions am I making? What assumptions am I making about this account? So if, we, if, you, heard, if you heard a little voice inside your head when we asked you the question, you know, how are you doing with your, with your existing accounts, and you said, oh, I'm fine. That's an assumption. Yep. What are you basing that on? You know, just because a client says, you guys are amazing, holy cow, you're remarkable, and this is just terrific, and yada, yada, yada. Well, okay, but... But still, there's more to do. Like Kelly said, am I bringing them a constant, steady flow of new ideas? Do they know everything that I do? Am, am, I, calling... I, meeting, am I meeting new people over there? That's a huge that's one. Like, another one. There's other people within that organization that are buying, and you don't know them. And that's really scary. And even going up the food chain. I mean, I tell this story all the time about the my client that was my best friend, and we had a, this great relationship. And one day, I got the breakup letter because I never met his boss, oh. you know, and oh man, did that hurt. Um, but I deserved it. I didn't, I just got, I just got comfortable, yeah. you know, and you don't want to do that. Com comfort is your enemy. Well, then towards that end, you know, am I gathering any feedback from them? Am I asking, give me feedback on what it's like to do business with me? Am I returning my calls at a good time? Are you happy with the turnaround time of the quotes? What about the communication? You know, I, mean, I just did a video the other day where he talked about you order anything like right now for Christmas, you order something and it automatically, a tracking number pops up. Mm -hmm. Well, when you place an order for a print job, label, packaging, signage, wide format, whatever, it's a big unknown and it didn't yeah. used to matter. But now because the bar is different, the bar is set high on a retail side, on, on a consumer yeah. side, now we've got to let them know this is when the job is coming. So yes. gather feedback. Again, do you know everything that we do? What could we do better? Here, if I, if I waved a magic wand, if I handed you a magic wand, what would that look like? Because I'll tell you what, your competition is going to chip away at all these things from different sides. Yeah. So think about your own vulnerability. If you were calling on your own accounts, what, <clears throat> what points would you hit? Right. Where are they going? Where are they going in the future, and where does that leave you? Oh, what, that's another good one. What serv you know, what services do you wish we offer that we're not currently offering? You know, these are fundamental account review questions. And when I say account review, when you ask, you might say, "Well, how often should I be doing these account reviews?" Because the one mistake you could make, Bill, I think, would be to start sounding needy. Like if you start asking these questions every single time you talk to them, "How are we doing? How are we doing?" That might get that yeah. might get bothersome, but. I always say that the frequency should be directly proportional to the size of the account and the percentage of your business. So quarterly if they're huge, a couple of times a year if they're a mid-sized account, and at least once a year if they're a significant but not gigantic amount of your business. It's just, oh, well, again, the check-ins. and. I would um, also ask, Kelly, um, am, I, am, am, I, am I showing my face often enough? Right. You know, are we getting together often enough? Am I communicating in the right way? Do you like the voicemail? Do you like the email? Check things out like that. Yeah. Okay. Just double check everything. Don't make any assumptions. Because kind of it can way. change too. People may be preferring to communicate via email more. Right. They may even be more likely to communicate with you on a social media stream or platform than you. And you may not know that unless you ask. Right. Sure. That's important. And be there if they do. If they say Twitter, get on Twitter. If they say Facebook, get on Facebook. You know those kinds of things. 
All right, so that's number two on uh, the series of questions for 2015. Kelly, thanks for your time today. Thanks, Bill. And we'll talk to you all next week in another short attention span webinar.